Hey, this is Scott, and today we're going to take a quick look at the image quality of the Laowa 15mm f4 wide-angle macro lens. If you want to see more about the very unique build and design of this lens, check out the link on screen now and down in the description below. As I mentioned in that video, this is an all-manual lens that has zero communication with your camera. As much as I tried out shooting with this in other lenses, I wasn't able to always make notes or remember the settings, so forgive me for that. On shots that do matter though, like showing the vignette as it's top down, sharpness wide open, and other things like that, I did make notes and I will show you those settings on screen as much as possible. One of this lens's biggest selling points was the wide angle and macro combination. Basically, it is very sharp even wide open at full macro magnification. It is tricky to nail focus for a handful of reasons, but when you do, there's nothing really to be disappointed with. The sharpness holds true for further distances as well, with very impressive performance both at mid and far distances in the center. Off to the far edges and corners of the frame, you will notice a dip in performance for sure, but it will sharpen up a little bit as you stop down, however it's never as sharp as the center of the frame. Around f11 seems to be the maximum amount of sharpness before diffraction starts to kick in a little. The vignette is pretty typical for a wide angle lens as well, clearing up a considerable amount from f4 to 5.6 and again at f8. There is a little further brightening as you stop down, but it never bothered me at any aperture. Once again, as with pretty much all Laowa lenses, it seems that the chromatic aberration is very well under control and I've never seen it be an issue at all. This Laowa has one more trick up its sleeve though, a 6mm shift in either vertical direction. On paper this sounds pretty cool and it is, but at this price point I guess I shouldn't be surprised of its shortcomings. To be completely honest, I think they could have absolutely left out this feature and still successfully sold this lens at this price, or even made other slight improvements in size for example. A shift feature without the ability to shift in portrait orientation feels quite handicapped for starters. Again, I get the reason that it was left out, but like I said, I think that they should have gone all or nothing. A separate dedicated tilt shift lens from Laowa would be very exciting given their amazing optical performance in all their other lenses. Using the shift feature will also require you to either crop heavily or use an APS-C body, despite the fact that this is a full frame lens. The biggest problem for me though comes in image quality, and that's the terrible mustache distortion that this lens shows. It didn't cause such a big problem in every single photo, but in some it is painfully obvious. Shifting your lens is most often used to avoid the perspective distortion you can get shooting with wide angle lenses, like when a building appears to be falling backwards. But when you use this lens's shift feature, you're still going to be dealing with this other distortion issue. Your building might be standing straight up, but at the top it will be all curvy. In certain situations this would be very hard to correct, and I'd be hesitant to use it. Finally, this lens does suffer pretty badly with flare when the sun is in the frame, with lots of ghosting and a drop in contrast. Overall, this is quite a give and take type lens. You get full macro with a very unique and very wide perspective, plus impressively sharp photos and no chromatic aberration. If you need edge to edge sharpness though, this won't give it to you, and you'll have to work around the distortion and flare. You can have a lot of fun with the shift feature, but you'll need to crop and you can only shift in the landscape orientation. I'd say weigh the pros and cons, decide what you want out of this lens and see if it fits. If it does, then go for it. If you don't need the unique combination of features that this lens offers, Laowa does also offer an incredible 12mm wide angle lens and a pretty decent 2 to 1 macro lens as well. If you want to see more on those, check the description for links to my reviews as well as links to all of these lenses. This wasn't an incredibly in-depth or scientific test, but I hope you got a feel for kind of how this lens performs. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them below and I will definitely get back to you. If you liked this video or found it helpful, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching.